her in a bunch. even you know current day we will have gingerbread cookies and chocolate covered pretzels and there's just sweets everywhere and it's amazing i love it but when i was diagnosed with an autoimmune condition ulcerative colitis i had to be strategic and you know really kind of rewire my brain to figure out what's best for me to eat what's best for <laughs> my stomach and you know eating a pound of chocolate chip cookies may not be it for me so i had to figure out a way to enjoy myself you know be able to really enjoy the abundance of sweets in my family but also taking care of my health so i'm here today to talk to you about how to tame and curb that sweet tooth while still in enjoying the holidays. So just a few quick tips. Swap it for craving something sweet and it's just a regular Tuesday. Maybe after dinner you want something sweet. Swap it for a fruit. Fruits you eat them and the less you eat refined sugar, the sweeter fruits actually become. So what I recommend is on it um, you can get some cut up some fresh berries put coconut cream on it it's so good it's so good I'm getting hungry just thinking about it um, dates slicing up dates and adding some nut butter on it dates are so sweet you guys especially when you stop eating refined sugar it's so sweet um figs if you like figs drizzling a little bit of honey on it slicing up bananas pour um sprinkling cinnamon on top of it you know fruit can be so so good it's good for you and it doesn't have all of the downsides that refined sugar does my other tip is when it comes to sweets to i know this is unpopular but enjoy it so let's say it's your birthday. Obviously you want a birthday cake. And if you physically are able to eat birthday cake, you know, once a year, then do it. Enjoy your favorite birthday cake. Or if there's a special treat at the holidays when you know that you really want that one thing. For me, it's gingerbread cookies. Gingerbread men are like my kryptonite. And yes, there's gluten-free. Yes, they're like all of these things, but it still has sugar in it. Um, so once a year, I will allow myself to have a couple of gingerbread men. I don't go crazy, but I do enjoy it guilt-free, and then I move on. I don't sit and dwell in the fact that I ate something that I shouldn't have. I don't feel guilty over it. I don't shame myself for it. I just enjoy that gingerbread cookie and then move on with the rest of my day, the rest of my week. So just enjoy it. Don't feel guilty about it and then move on. Continue on with your day. Eat your healthy dinner. Eat, you know, everything else that you had planned. Don't just say, well, once I have this, I had this piece of cake and now my, the rest of my day is ruined. So I might as well just give up. Don't do that. <laughs> enjoy the cake, move on with your day as planned. And then the other one is make sure if you're really craving sweets all the time, if you are constantly feeling the need to eat cookies or cakes or whatever it is, ice cream, you may be deficient elsewhere. You may not be eating enough nutrient dense foods elsewhere in your diet. So make sure that at your meal times that you're eating enough protein, enough vegetables, and enough healthy fats. Because when you have these, you're going to start craving sweets less, especially if you are gradually reducing the amount of sugar in your diet and increasing the amount of healthy nutrient dense foods, you're going to start craving it less. So just make sure that if you have a strong craving for all of these sweets a lot of the time, just check and make sure that you are eating adequate nutrient dense foods elsewhere in your diet. And final tip, 
keep it out of the house if you don't want to eat it if you are actively trying to stay away from desserts and sweets and refined sugar keep it out of the house it reduces temptation for me i don't have a lot of self-control at the end of the day so if i have cupcakes sitting on the counter i'm gonna eat a cupcake or if i have you know whatever else if i have cookies in the freezer that i can thaw and it's like nice and hot and gooey of course i want it so as a rule of thumb just keep it out of the house or if you want to make something in the hall at the holidays with your kids i say do it and then maybe save a couple t for you to enjoy and then give it to a neighbor or give it to a relative or what i've seen a lot when i worked in corporate is give it to the office <laughs> you know that table at your office where everyone brings sweets from their house because they don't want it in their house you can do that so make the whole tray of cookies or whatever and then take a couple for you to savor and enjoy with your family and then take it to work it just i promise it will magically disappear before the end of the day <laughs> it always does okay so my parting thought with this is challenge yourself and i challenge you to go without refined sugar for a week see how it feels see how it feels in your body to not have sugar for a week do you have more energy do you feel a little bit lighter do you feel like i don't know just see see how you feel at the end of the week see how much of a struggle it was or if it's actually a lot easier than you without sugar so i challenge yourself to go one week without any refined sugar and then report back send me a message Say, I did your challenge and loved it, hated it, whatever it is. I need support, I need accountability, whatever it is. Let me know, report back. And I look forward to getting those messages. All right, you guys. Good luck. Tame me your sweet tooth. I know you can do it. Trust me, if I can do it, being raised on sweets, you can do it too. I believe in you.